Welcome and welcome back, Collective. How's everyone doing? I'm sending you all good vibes and I really hope you're feeling great. So today, let's jump into this collective reading and see what the universe wants to share with us today. Now, keep in mind that these are timeless general readings, so allow the message to resonate as it's meant to. Universe, please share with us your message. Whoa, okay, that's too many. Let's start this over. <laughs> what is your message for us today? Four of Wands, so that's like a gathering, coming together, family reunions, community events. What about this? Ooh, we're all connected. Look at this card. We have a wolf, an owl, butterfly, two dragons. I see eight, eight. Um, we're all connected with the Four of Wands. Hmm, so definitely connection and something expected, unexpected is coming, so stay vigilant. Okay, so what else? When darkness descends, remember it's temporary. The light always returns. Something unexpected. Hmm, whoa, oh my goodness. <laughs> what does this say? Changes may be slow, but remember even the shadow of a sundial moves. So be patient. Wow, this is a very interesting collection of cards here. So take a look at these. Really take this in. So, wow, I am seeing so much here. It looks like you've got a situation coming up that feels like some sort of like big family reunion or maybe a long-awaited gathering with um, your friends Whatever this is, this is 3D and beyond the veil. So this is a gathering of family or friends here in, you know, our 3D reality, as well as your ancestors coming through, past loved ones coming through. We have your spiritual team coming through, um, and that's this gathering. How interesting. Um it's like this kind of gathering where everyone is bringing different vibes and energies into one place, however that's going to fit um, into your situation and your life. So the Four of Wands, it's about coming together with a purpose. It's a celebration, a homecoming, or some other gathering. But this is powerful because this goes beyond. Um... So it feels like you're stepping into a space where the bonds you share with others, both seen and unseen, are like basically going to shine. There's a spotlight on them. Um, I'm seeing this in so many different ways. It's like people gathering around a birthday cake, and I see people blowing out the candles. Um, I see people sharing stories and memories around, uh, like around someone's graveside. So this is a funeral. Um, if you have lost someone, I just want to say my condolences. I know this would be a very difficult time for you. Um, wow, this is coming through in so many different ways. But whatever it is for you specifically, it's like a sense of unity and celebration and coming together. Um, I just heard Diaz. So this could be your last name or another person's last name that's connected to the situation. Um, you know, let it resonate as it's meant to. And I just heard Tim, Timmy. So that's going to be specific for someone as a confirmation. But when we look at the next cards, we've got we are all connected, you know, um, and then something unexpected is coming. Stay vigilant. We can see that a major shift is coming, however that applies to your situation. Um, it's like you're all at this gathering, right? And there's like these good vibes, there's this connection, and then boom, something you didn't see coming throws a wrench in the works. Um, now keep in mind, this isn't necessarily bad news, but it's definitely got what feels like some shock value um, like maybe your uncle that no one's heard from in years suddenly shows up or, um, you know, even an offhand comment sparks a much needed discussion about like 
family secrets, whatever it is, like I'm seeing this in so many different ways. Um, whatever it is, it's going to make this gathering even more significant in some way. Um, I just heard Latisha. So that's going to be a confirmation of someone's name. Um, I just heard O'Donnell. So that's going to be a confirmation of possibly someone's last name. Wow, a lot is coming through. Um, so what it feels like is this is not going to be easy to deal with because dealing with surprises, you know, they're not always easy, especially when emotions are running high. And I feel like whatever the surprise is, it's going to activate emotions in some way. Um, and I feel like the guidance here is, you know, it's important to stay grounded with whatever this is. Um, because just as the card says, changes may be slow, but remember, even the shadow of a sundial moves. So be patient. I feel like that's very important. Um, this is all about like the slow burn, the kind of changes that unfold at their own pace, you know, just like understanding and healing takes time. Um, so whatever this is, if your emotions immediately get activated, you're being guided to stay grounded, to, you know, really ease into this. Do not overreact is what this feels like. Um, I just heard 524. It's repeating again. 524. Uh, this is going to be specific for someone. Um, it might be someone's birthday. It might be a time of birth. Um, it might have significance for a Gemini uh, in Gemini season. This date might have meaning. Um, I just heard angel number 524. Okay. Um, so someone needs to look that up. I don't know what that means offhand, but clearly it's meant for someone. Angel number 524. Um, I just heard use discernment if things get emotional. Okay. So that's specific for someone. Use discernment. Do not overreact. Maybe what's going to come out might not be true in some way. Um, it's clearly advice. So if you find yourself emotional and discernment will help you, use it. Um, so yeah, if something that happens at this event Whew, I just feel this really intense, like impulsive, emotional outburst. So if you feel that brewing, you know, this is guidance from your ancestors, from your spiritual team, from the universe. Use discernment. Be patient. You know, don't lose yourself to whatever this surprise is for you specifically. I just heard close, but no cigar. Wow, I haven't heard that saying in years. Um, hmm. So for someone, this surprise might have to do with like coming close to a successful outcome, but something falling short at the end. Ooh. Um, so however that applies, let it resonate as it's meant to. Um, also, this could be a confirmation that someone smokes cigars. I just heard um, Cuban cigars. So that's definitely going to be a confirmation for someone. And I smell smoke. I do smell cigar smoke, but I smell even, um, I smell cigarette smoke. So this is a confirmation of smoking. Someone also might smoke cigarettes. So let it resonate as it's meant to. Um, wow, this is a powerful message. I really feel like the universe is saying, you know, that while this event might stir up some emotions or bring some, what feels like unexpected issues to the surface, Things will settle down. So don't lose your head. That's what I keep hearing. Don't lose yourself to this. You know, this is saying change is coming. But keep in mind that it's also going to be slow going. It's like um, the way I'm being shown. It's like watching a slow dance of shadows. This is going to have meaning for someone. It's, it's literally being shown to me like this. It's like you're watching a slow dance of shadows knowing you have no control over how this moves because you're waiting for the light to return. So this is like a reminder to breathe, just breathe and watch because you need to give things time to find a new normal. Oh, so for someone, this is like a new normal. 
Whatever the change is, you're going to just have to breathe and give it time. Wow. However that applies. Um, I just heard black water. <sighs> what? Black water. How dark waters, maybe? Um, I'm not really sure what that means. Now I'm seeing it on a sign. The two words together, black water. Maybe this is a place. Um, I'm smelling minerals, like in the dirt. Um, this is very earthy. Um, I'm being shown a dirt road. So a dirt road, minerals, black water. I've seen it on a sign. So however that applies, take it if it resonates. Um, you know, and next up, we actually have a confirmation from the universe with what I was just saying, that even if this surprise brings some storms, some darkness, right? It says it right on that card, the light will return. So eventually the storms are going to dissipate. So when the darkness descends, whatever the surprise is, the situation as it applies to you, um, just remember that it's only temporary, that the light will return. So I feel like this really truly serves as a um, like gentle reminder from the universe that no matter how heavy the atmosphere gets, it won't last forever. The light will return. So take that as comfort if the weight of something is very heavy and uncomfortable. Um, I'm being shown a person. So I feel like some, some of this is just situation-based and some of this is based on a person. So whatever it is for you specifically, um, I really feel like this represents someone in your life who's going to be like the catalyst for these changes in some way. And I feel like for someone, this is a passing and that passing is going to shift this. And so I just want to give you my condolences. I know this is going to be a hard time. Um, you know, or this is going to be someone coming back into your life that always brings surprises or even shifts in the dynamic in some way. When they're around, things change. Surprises come. Um, and this is also a situation for someone. Wow, this is, this is branching off in so many different ways. The situation where it tests your patience, it tests your adaptability. It's like pushing you to maintain um, what feels like it's a struggle to maintain peace and harmony because these surprises are going to like rock the boat, however that applies. Um, I'm seeing the letters of A, L, and T. So this is possibly initials, um, so let it resonate as it's meant to. But what I do know here is change is coming. You know, whether it's healing old wounds, forging new paths, or deepening bonds, however it applies, change is definitely coming, and it's gonna be connected to some sort of event or community, family, something. Um, but my eyes keep being drawn back to the animals shown on the, you know, we're all connected card. Dragons, for someone listening, they're going to symbolize strength and courage. The wolf, the wolves, they might represent loyalty and protection. The owls, they stand for wisdom and the butterfly, it's transformation. So I feel like these are messengers. These are messengers for every single person listening. So if these pop up around you, whichever ones, all of them, or just one of them, especially after this event, take a moment, you know, and really analyze what you're thinking or doing right when they show up. There's a message in that moment specifically tailored for you. So if you see dragons, wolves, owls, or butterflies, or I'm even seeing the infinity sign and I'm seeing 888, this might even represent August 8th because August 8th of this year and 2024, if you are listening to it before August 8th or even after, 888 might rep be represented because 2024 is 8. So August 8th of 2024 represents 888. Let it resonate as it's meant to. Um, 
But if these creatures show up, like, you pay attention because I really feel like there's a clear message that's going to unfold. You know, I see them coming up in conversations. I see them coming up in books. I see them coming up in random sightings. It's like, I see it like in a billboard since pay attention. Whoa. Um, yeah, they are going to try to communicate something important to you about this event or other things unfolding in your life. Wow, this feels important. So if you have like a tarot journal where you write stuff down, write those animals down. Um, wow. Yeah, they're going to speak to you. They're going to speak something very important to you. Um, so the universe's, you know, advice in this message, in this reading is clear. You're being asked to embrace the gathering, right? This connection, um, whatever this is, and you're being asked to, you know, embrace the unexpected events that will unfold, to stay calm, to remain calm and collected. Look around. I feel like you, you need to look around and realize that everyone else might be just as surprised and thrown off as you are, which is like, the way this is being presented, it's almost like this is the perfect opportunity to come together and find common ground. Whatever this is, it's like going to bring you together with others. Maybe there was like, um, like a strain, a disconnection at some point, and now this is actually going to be the remedy, bringing it back together. So I really feel like the universe is saying, even if things feel a bit chaotic and unsettled, these moments, just like the card says, they're fleeting. The sun keeps moving and the shadows will shift before you know it. And it's like you're going to be in this new light, just like the card says, this new phase. You know, and hopefully at the end of this, you know, you're going to have some really important changes in your life that will bring you closer to others that maybe you once felt distant and disconnected from. I just heard it again. Be patient. The change is coming. Do not force it and let it move naturally. Wow. So there was a lot of advice in this reading. If it resonates, really brace yourself for something unexpected but something good is coming on the other side of this. And that is true harmony, true connection, and something is about to be fixed in your life. Wow, what a reading. So that's all I got for you, Collective. Thank you so very much for joining me for this reading. If you haven't already done so, please be sure to like, subscribe, and turn on your notifications so you don't miss any of my future readings. I look forward to seeing you in the next reading.